Hello, uh, episode two, Shape Master. Uh, we are going to talk about LFO. Uh, Shape Master can be extremely powerful LFO, but uh, it, it's very easy to store. You just grab this CV and it's that simple, right? So now we're getting uh, channel one. Uh, only uh, other channels are still inactive. Um, so now let's go over every single option that is relevant to LFO here. So over here you can change, uh, you can uh, pick different shapes. Uh, these are basically different presets of uh, the LFO. Uh, you can initialize it over here. Now we're obviously interested uh, in in drawing our own own shapes here. So um, you just clicked anywhere, and that's that's how simple. It is. In addition, we have those little handles here for curves. And here is an um, important little trick. Right click and you get smooth shapes. Super powerful feature. Um, and with these two things, you can do whatever you want. There's one more thing worth remembering, which is when you hold Command key, notice that I'm snapping to Y grid, and when I'm holding Option key, I'm snapping to X. So what I'm, uh, <laughs> what I uh, like doing is just holding both of them, right? So you can you can draw a very precise rhythm, for the, for example. Um, and another little tip, if you want to go more detail, uh, in, into more detail change in global option, change the line width. Notice how much more you can see now. And you can even get rid of those little points by uh, where it's somewhere, I think it's somewhere, yeah. Show shape nodes. Now they're gone. Only when you hover, uh, you can see them. And there are, by the way, some really nice options here. Show channel label, so you can say LFO. You can make it <laughs> very uh, pretty. Um, and uh, we can even have those uh, no tooltips. You can say, hey, 8.5 volts, exactly at 0 0.40, so basically 460 milliseconds. Um, and notice is that because we can zoom in, it's pretty much a full screen a full, full screen fab filter like interface you can look look how detailed you can get i mean it's really insane you can draw i mean this is really master of shapes it's crazy and all of them you can in the, you can really decide those curves um, so yeah, that's uh, all about drawing. Uh, above we have obviously copy and paste, reverse, invert, and this is pretty crazy. You can randomize all of them. There are different parameters, so you can say how many segments you want in this randomization. Stepped, quantized, so in, in another tutorial I will talk about using Shape Master as um, extremely powerful sequencers. You can also randomize that. Here's a little tip. You don't have to go into this menu and play uh, press uh, randomize. You can uh, hold Option and just click on it, right? So you have m millions of different shapes here. Um, so now let's go um, below. We have grid size, we have range, so you can unipolar, you can use unipolar, bipolar, and everything in between, uh, and the grid will, will reflect that. Um, we can stop our LFO, we can freeze our LFO, and there's also this little thing that uh, at first I, I found confusing because it doesn't do anything. Uh, and then I learned from mind melt guys that it's actually pretty brilliant. Um, this will trigger this second output. So you can set not only end of cycle of this LFO, but you can pick random place in the middle. So later in, in, in maybe future videos, I will talk about some hacks. You can use this to create some crazy clock dividers and so forth. So let's go further down. Um, 
Um, first of all, you have, uh, you know, this is grayed out, so in, in LFO we don't care about it, at, at, at least not yet. Um, amount. And notice one interesting tip or trick. If you invert your shape, this is how amount will behave. Very useful for uh, sign chaining, ducking stuff. Uh, in addition, we have slew limiter. So this will uh, act the way you expect. And by the way, I'm holding shift to create step um, LFO shapes. This is very similar to Serum. So slew behaves the way you, you want, and then smooth is much more delicate filtering. So these two can soften your shapes further. Um, let's move over here. Um, let's randomize. Uh, face, you can shift entire uh, shape and it will be important when you have a bunch of LFOs on different channels so you can have a very precise control over how they relate. This is pretty amazing. Uh, re um, further you have uh, response, right, and warp. I mean, this is this this is amazing. With these, I, these are my favorite knobs in entire Shape Master. Uh, and I notice that that solid color is what is being played. Why you still can edit um, comfortably um, with the with the line. Really nice uh, user interface. So now let's go over here. Uh, length. This is basically your LFO speed. Uh, very nice because it's um, you can also do it in as frequency. Um, and even notes. So later we'll, in another video we'll talk about uh, oscillator, Shape Master's oscillator. Um, and we also have a swing mode. So let's uh, change the shape to um, basic shape and so. cinematic bass and and we have swing right so this is also very unusual for the files um, so that's uh, that's over here and finally over here um, this is something that we're not touching if we want to stay in LFO. There are other modes, I will talk about it in the other videos, but basically auto is, uh, you know, independent LFO here. So this is what you want to have for LFO. Uh, we have forward and reverse and ping pong. Right, how awesome is that? Uh, and this is also a unique feature. Uh, uh, how many repeats? So. Let's say right, some kind of John Carpenter movie here. Um, and then you can decide, you know, repeat it again or to in infinity. So um, very nice option here. So we covered all those um, major faders, sliders and stuff like that. Um, however, we still have to talk about clock sync. This is um, a feature that is locked behind Pro version, so you won't have that in the free uh, Shape Master. And what it allows us to do now is I click and they say, "Hey, please connect, please connect a clock first. So let's connect a clock um, clocked. Right, this is a very popular. And here's what's going to happen um, that will be very disappointing. I'm connecting this clock over here and kind of nothing happens because you need to increase this ratio and by the way nothing happens because I didn't press, press play but notice that even now it's kind of too slow right it's like this is 120 and it barely moves because this um, module right now expects clock in what we called um, pulse pulses per quarter note and we need 48 of them per each quarter note so 
the way you set this up is just like this. Right, we have 120. And um, in, in synced mode, we have length now expressed in um, you know bars and notes. And you have even you know, some crazy nodes, uh, crazy modes like 5, 8, 7, 8, mix meters and stuff like that. Um, really amazing. Um, one thing to keep in mind that there are a few options that are relevant now how these different LFOs, LFOs will be synchronized. In locked mode, uh, all of them will, if, if all of them will have the same length, they will always play from the beginning. Um, if, you, if it's a disabled, uh, you might have uh, all of them basically the, the synchronized, so you can keep it on. And there are some options here, uh, play playhead never jumps, so when you change length, uh, it determines whether it waits for the end of the cycle. And um, and I think, uh, was there any other? Yeah, there's one option um, that is also related to uh, sync lock quantization. So um, in order to change that, you have to stop entire LFO and then you can change it, right? So uh, quantization will trigger after one bar or entire cycle length. Now, this will be important if you have, let's say, 64 bars or so uh, in this mode, you will wait 64 bars before that length will have any effect. So that's uh, that's pretty important. Um, yeah, and yeah, and over here we have a run, so we can gate it. You have resets. Uh, by the way, um, resets are also avail available for individual channels. But again, this is something you will have only if you have Shapemaster Pro. There's an expander here. And th this expander allows you to automate everything on every single channel because these inputs are polyphonic. And over here you have channel reset. So uh, so keep it in mind that we have two types of reset. Um, and let's see, I think we covered everything when it comes to LFO. However, I also want to talk about um, using this module as a tremolator. So let's flip everything um, and let's put this over here, right? So after reverb, and I have uh, my thing as stereo, right? So left, right. Uh, so how do I how do I go through VCA here uh, in stereo mode? Well, this VCO is polyphonic, so you can meld um, meld your notes over uh, your your sounds over here into stereo. Then you go through VCA, and then you unmeld. Uh, okay, so VCA goes here, and how cool is that, right? So now. Um, at my entire kind of reverberated uh, thing is being gated by this, uh, what, what effectively becomes a tremolator. Let's get uh, those bigger lines, let's show the nodes. Right? And here is where you will notice why the smooth is included on top of slow. Notice the difference. You can very, um, you can, you can um, soften this click. Right? It's still, still snappy. So yeah, that's how you uh, use it as a VCA. And there, there are also a few options here. Um, that are relevant, so you can have different summing, you can sum uh, into stereo or mono individually, um, so uh, keep it in mind. Um, Alright guys, so I, uh, I think I covered everything that is related to uh, using Shapemaster as LFO and Tremolator. Uh, everything I covered is literally everything you need to use it in that uh, 
in this way and in the next tutorial I will talk about different functions. Um, all right, so see you, see you again in a bit. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.